Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. If you are a man who likes assertive women, aka women that see what they want and like and go and get it, where the f*** do y'all be hanging out? Because wherever that is, I want to be there. You want to know why? Because yes, I do want you to chase me. I do want you to pursue me. I do want you to do everything in your power to try to win me over. But I also want to chase you and pursue you. But for some reason, the average man doesn't want that or like that. Which puts me in a very difficult position because I love a chase. I love a good chase. And I know that as a woman, that shouldn't be my role. But I can't help it. This is who I am. This is who I've been my whole entire life. And every girlfriend I've ever had always tells me that I need to stop doing that because that's the reason I'm single. And you're probably right. But I don't know how to change that. And even if I did, I don't think I want to change it. I like who I am. But now the problem is, is just figuring out where to find the type of men that I need in my life. So... That sounds like a you problem. Or at least it sounds like you need to do something better with your time. Where are those men at? Oh, on the other side. At the place you are not. They even formed a club. And yes, it's the type of club you can't get in. You like the chase? <laughs> That's fine. How many times did you chase the man? And how long did it took until you got him? You don't like the chase. You like getting what you want. You like the attention and validation that comes with that. How do I know that? Well, for example, your jacket didn't just fell off one shoulder. You said it like that before you started recording your video it gave you the impression that you look more interesting that way and that's what you like being fake has become so acceptable that people get offended when you keep it real crazy i know keeping it real well it's your video the voice is not yours and the idea is not yours what exactly are you keeping real and no it's not that filter either you're using it but it's still not yours All right, I'm at the doctor's office, but I had to make a video about this like immediately. If you go to Facebook right now and click on somebody's page that you're not friends with, it will automatically send them a friend request. So if you're looking at like your ex-boyfriend's new boo or something, um, yeah, automatic friend request. Hopefully this is a glitch that they're gonna fix because this is seriously gonna affect some, uh, some serious stalking <laughs> in the female world. Stay on Facebook today. I think she said stay off Facebook tonight, not stay on. But here's a crazier idea for you. Stop stalking your ex-boyfriend. So, I made a video that divided the girlies, and let's talk about it. The video said, you attract how you dress. So, if you are wearing things that are a little bit more covered, reserved, and more modest, you might attract a man with better intentions. And then the girls went haywire because it was like me saying, what the hell is wrong with you? If you dress like a you deserve to be disrespected. So this is me saying that no matter what you wear, who you are, you should always deserve respect. That is, I think, what we are born with as humans. Yeah, no. Funny enough, I've never heard a man saying, I deserve respect. I can go outside butt naked and I should get the respect I deserve. You got a girl is following you mad and now you're trying to kind of making it better. Maybe ask yourself which ones of the girlies you got mad. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's not the ones who are already dressing modest. In the end, you wear whatever clothes you want to wear. It's none of my business. But keep in mind that if you're dressed like a clown, people are gonna look at you funny. You dress like a hobo, maybe you get some change. You're the owner of your company, but you wear a Starbucks t-shirt. Yeah, no one's gonna ask for coffee because they get fired. But it's not exactly bringing you the respect you think you deserve. Why do men think that it is appropriate and or even reasonable to ever make comments on a women's page or any type of social regarding her wearing makeup? It's always the guys who post things like, oh, we'll take off that makeup and let's see what you actually look like. That 10 now becomes a two. Like, sir, you have a full beard cover in your face. I guarantee the five out of 10 that you were is now a one. But even if I try to take a step back and understand what's actually going on in your little pea-sized brain, the, the logic just simply isn't there. 
Because for most women who you think would transform drastically with their appearance from wearing makeup, if they truly do look like a totally different person, do you think that person is ever actually going to spend the majority of their life without makeup if they're trying to transform themselves into a completely different individual? So what concern do you have if that person wants to wear makeup? Because more than likely, 90 to 95% of the time, that person is always going to wear makeup and is always going to be the 10 that they present themselves to be. So you're one out of 10 or two out of 10 can take a seat. Thank you. Don't mention it. But before I go take a seat, let me bring you a wet tissue. I understand you got your feelings hurt because you think you're a 10 and someone called you a 5 even with makeup on. And maybe you got worried you look like a 2 with no makeup on, but leave my beard alone. And no, you're not wearing makeup 90-95% of the time. And if I was to have any concerns about your makeup, it would be, who am I waking up next to in the morning? I'm a 5 with and a 2 without my beard, but you're a 10 with makeup. Come on, princess. They haven't even invented plastic surgeries to turn you into a 10. Okay, I've talked about this before, and I'm going to talk about it again, but I'm a firm believer that you should not ghost someone, or at least... 95 percent of the time i don't think you should go someone okay fair enough but what do we do about this you're just out you ghost guys oh that's my favorite thing you to love do. ghosting guys because it's so fun because girls aren't usually good at ghosting ignoring the fact that she's wrong ghosting is still her favorite thing to do so do we make an exception for her 90 95 percent of the time i think i've said it before i don't really agree with ghosting one takes should do the job but for her every man that ever dated her or ever will date her should turn ghosting her into a new hobby one thing i love about dating in my 40s is that like if a guy is talking to you and you're just not clicking, you're just not vibing, they can't carry a conversation on, you can literally just like walk away. Like at this point in your life, you've already had the kids, you've already had the marriage, you've already had your like teen love romance thing. And now you're just like, I'm out here doing my life. And you're like, I already take out the garbage, I already fix the barbecue, I do the lawn mowing, I put gas in my own car, I literally take care of my finances, my everything. So like, if you're coming in here as a weak man to disrupt like my peace, my life, like that's not going to drive. And because you're already set up, because you already have all the things you need just from your one little person. It's just so crystal clear on the other side when someone comes knocking on your door and you're like, no, no, that's not for me. Keep going. Sounds good to me. Let me keep going. I've never heard anyone before saying she needs to be clicking and vibing. Lucky for me, I found you dating in your 40s. And I know you guys are gonna say, well, she's just doing adult stuff. But no, she's doing all those stuff. She's independent. She's strong. She's in fact so strong, she makes onions cry. And if that's not your sign that you need to date her, keep in mind that no one else would either. I just don't have the energy for this. I am unsubscribing from this drama. Okay, fair enough. Let me read this first. When you go on yet another bad date and officially retire from the dating market. Okay, let me wipe my tears first before we get into this. Obviously, all your dates were bad because, you know, you're dating men, I guess. But how many bad dates are we talking about exactly? It's videos after videos on TikTok. With all the queens complaining, I reinstalled dating apps and two days later, I deleted them. Okay, but what did you expect it, really? People go for months, if not years, looking for a solid relationship and you were expecting to find your soulmate in what two days i know in your head you are expecting to go outside and find a bunch of men holding flowers and chocolates and cards saying where have you been all my life and why didn't you remain there but that's not really how it happens obviously you're officially retired from the dating market somehow i have a feeling you'll be back on the dating market tomorrow my entire life transformed. I got clearer skin, more successful, was happier. I made this one simple mindset shift. I now live a slow life in a fast paced world. Never rush. I'm always on time. And what is meant for me is meant for me. I have no idea what she said. I mean, I, I know the words, I understand the words, but I have no idea what she wanted to say. She's talking about manifestation because who isn't? But being on time needs to be manifested now. 
thing. Let me change. I'm just trying to tell you that you, I told you I don't have your purse change. is on top of your car. You give me a show that we now mind your own business. Okay. And I agree. Next time, mind your own business, wait for her to leave and just laugh. But anyway, this is gonna be the end of the video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.